pleased to bring you our feature presentation. Copy 4292, please. Here you go. Thanks.
Hi. Uh, is this Pamela? Yeah, hi. hi. Uh, yeah, you answered a, an ad that I placed in the personal columns of the Village Daily? <laughs> right. No, I, I, I like the letter very much. Take a look at what her husband did to her, Brad. I've seen it. Then how about doing something? Look, this is the second time in a year he's beaten the hell out of her. What are you waiting for, a hat trick? Because the next time this could be a morgue photo. Get her to press charge? Why? This is a criminal case. He says she came home like that. He's lying! And I've got no witnesses. Look, you get her to press charges, I guarantee I'll put him in the slammer. Hell, a first-year law student could give me that guarantee. At least get the judge to hold him. You're beautiful when you're angry. Jerk! Sorry I'm late. Hi, babe. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 Cute, but not funny, Michael. Sorry. Bad day. Frustrating. So, Evan, tell me about your assignment. All we've heard from Sarah is uh, Now Magazine, big article, and wait for Evan to tell you. Well, they're doing a series on uh, loneliness. I came up with the concept, presented it to them. They bought it. Uh, attractive SWM. Single white male. Mm. 31 sensitive and warm wishes to meet SWF. Single white female. <laughs> With similar qualities, please write to Village Daily, Box P4292. That's my ad. It's my second week running. I've already had a couple of dates. What a fabulous idea. I just made my third date tomorrow night. You're not a single white male, you're married. It's, it's an assignment, sis. You just do what you have to do. This date, this date, what, what did she tell you she was like? Well, she said uh, she was blonde, attractive. What do you do uh, on these dates? We have dinner, and they talk, I listen. Do you tell them that you're a writer? No, he doesn't. Well, come on, man, tell us about the girls. Were they, uh... Foxes? One fox, one dog. Hey, one out of two ain't bad. Are they desperate? They're lonely. Sarah, you keep attacking your gums like that, they're gonna bleed to death. Look, I know you're ticked off at me. Why don't you just let it fly? What makes you think that? Well, first of all, you're wearing pajamas to bed. That always tells me hands off tonight. I had a rough day. I'm tired. I expect to get a good night's sleep. You're jealous. Don't be ridiculous. Yeah, then why so angry? Because what you're doing is unethical. You're meeting these women wait, wait, under wait, wait, false Wait, wait, hold, 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 hold it. This is a story. I'm a writer. I'm not even going to use their real names. You can change their names, but you're not going to change their story. How do you think these women will feel when they realize they've been suckered? That this empathetic ear was a con man? I deal with infringement of rights and invasion of privacy all day long. And here's my husband doing the very same thing.
You were right. Maybe I should get a football to kick around. Look, if you want me to drop the story, uh, I'll drop it. No, I'm, no, it's important to your career. Ah, come on, I've had six years of rejection slips. This will be a first. I'll reject them. You're really positive about this, aren't you? <laughs> I have been. Well, I'll tell you what. I promise I won't say another word about it. We're going to grow selling now? No, mm -hmm. I, I promise I won't grow selling. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Will you do me a favor? Mm -hmm. Will you take off my pajamas? Always something. It happened again, the night before last. I was sound asleep in my bed. And I felt this incredible weight. And I couldn't move. So I opened my eyes. And he was there on top of me. I tried to scream, but I didn't have any voice. And then? It was the same. I fainted. My alarm woke me up. Is he the same man as before? Yes. Do you recognize him yet? No. This is your fantasy sex life. Are there any changes occurring in your real sex life? Nothing. No sex. I had a date on Saturday night, and I brought him home. But it wasn't satisfying. Nothing's changed. You seem fascinated by that rose. Well, I love roses. They're beautiful and delicate. And thorny and painful. Buenos dias, Teresa. Buenos dias, Mrs. Martin. My babies, they're okay? Your babies are fine. We have a very nice woman who's looking after them. Julio, he, he is in prison? No. They gave me some papers to give to you, Teresa. You sign them and Julio will go to prison. No sign today. Teresa, do you want to live like this? One day this man is going to kill you. No sign today, tomorrow. Teresa, listen to me. Tomorrow. I'm in the bedroom. Hi. I forgot you had a date. <sighs> well, I won't be long. I'll be back before 11. Mm. I uh, almost finished the piece. Feels good. Is it a Pulitzer? Well, I don't know if I'm aiming quite that high yet. Mm. You look so good, maybe I ought to be jealous. Hey, that's something I never have to worry about. 
Okay. <laughs> Go get him. I'm here to meet a young lady, I'm Miss Richter. Oh yes, the lady is waiting. If you will come with me. Thank you. Miss Richter, your friend is arrived. Hi, I'm Evan. May I bring you a cocktail, sir? Uh, no, thank you. I'll just take a, a club soda with a twist of lime, thanks. You're not AA, are you? No, no, I just don't feel like having a drink right now, thanks. I hate to drink alone. I'll catch up to you, don't worry. If you have any ideas about getting me drunk... I promise, two drinks. I'll only let you have two drinks. You look as young as you said you were. The last time I answered a personals ad, the guy said he was 30. He looked 40 and I found out later he was really 48. You're not having bladder problems, are you? No. You go to the washroom every 20 minutes. Is that something new tonight, or is that something that you do constantly? Well, I, I hadn't really noticed. Maybe you should see a doctor. A guy I worked with had the same problem. He ended up having cancer of the bladder. Who's Clifford? Who told you about him? You just mentioned his name. No, I didn't. Then where would I have heard it? I didn't mention his name. I never say his name, ever. I don't feel well, I have to go back to work. Will I see you next week? I don't know, I'll call. Anytime, Heather. Tú sabes que yo te quiero.
Buenos dias, Teresa. I did something I've never done before. I left that hospital. I went down to the nearest bar, sat down by myself, and had a drink. My world and welcome to it. I'll never forget that bastard sitting there with that grin on his face because he bought his way out of prison with a bouquet of flowers and a pair of lace panties. You know what you need? What I need? A steam, a massage, a martini. Call my brother. Tell him to cook his own dinner. You're coming out with me. He already has plans for dinner. Another date? Yep. Are you afraid he's cheating on me? Are you? No. Good. Because I love you both. <laughs> Evan, I'm Melody. Da -da. That's it. I warned you that I was plump, but I'm a pleasant plump. You won't hear any sad stories from me. Oh, you are a handsome devil. I hope you're a devil. Are you horny? Oh, my lord, look at that face. I've embarrassed you. Holy sweet Jean, I got myself a date with a gentleman. Would the senorita like a cocktail? You bet you're a sweet enchilada, Jose. Bring me a double margarita, salt the glass well, and keep your eye on that empty glass tonight. I hate reaching for empty glasses. Mm. Evan, I have big appetites. Eating, mm. drinking, living, and sex. How do you feel about that? Uh, <clears throat> I can handle myself. Whoa, the man is a challenge. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> now, I may never get to the Grand Canyon again. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't want to. It's a hole. You see it, it's nice, but it's not the Bolshoi Ballet. So, if I'm never going back, I've got to do everything there is to do now. And one of those things is that mule train up the side of the canyon. Okay, so I walk out with my Levi's and my hundred dollar boots and they lead me to my animal. Now that jackass takes one look at me and keels over. <laughs> now he doesn't faint. Oh, he's too smart for that, they'd revive him. No, he dies. The little jerk has a heart attack. <laughs> Evan, come on, why are you so tense? Oh, I'm not tense. Oh, come on, these muscles are like coil springs. <laughs> Relax, come on, come on, slouch a little. Ooh, what have we here? That's hard. Strange location. What is this? What's going on? What are you, pervert? Uh, look, Melody. <clears throat> It's not what you think. What the hell is that supposed to mean? You little pervert! I'm really sorry, but I'm, I'm doing an article. An article for a magazine. Oh, damn you. Damn you! You sick little weirdo! Oh. I got hit by a Mack truck. Named Melody. Your date? Yeah, she uh, found my tape recorder. Oh, thanks a no, lot. That's listen, great. That's. Listen. You can't say you didn't ask for it. Go lie down. I'll get you some ice. Go on. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> What did she hit you with? Her fist. Good Lord. How big was she? About 250 pounds. 
<laughs> but she didn't hit me with a tape recorder. Might have ended up in the hospital. <laughs> Could have been a lot worse than that, you know. You don't know what kind of crazies are out there. I gotta tell you, you scare the hell out of me when you go on these dates. Well, this is my last one. Serious? Ah, got plenty of material for the article. Besides, I keep feeling like I'm spinning my wheels anyway. I keep seeing the same woman, except she's in a different body. She, she's lonely, she's hungry for love. And there's just something about her that prevents her from finding it in the traditional ways. Come on in. Have a seat. Thank you. Evan! <laughs> what happened? Oh, battle scars. I should get a purple heart for this story. Oh, you should get more than that. It's a good article, Evan. It's very good. Thank you. But I think you can do better. It's not the writing. You're a good writer. But I'm missing something in the content. Um, I have an article here on singles bars. And it's the same girl. She's single and she doesn't want to be. And that's the bottom line. You know, we know her very well. I'm hoping you can find a twist for me in the personals. Huh? Stretch it. Get me some punch. I want it done so well, Evan, that no one will touch it again. I know you can do that for me. Miss, can I have a check, please? Can you read my writing? Attractive married man, 31, looking for uncomplicated sexual relationship with attractive female of like persuasion. Please write Village Daily, box P4292. Yeah, that's it. She has to tell it to the police, and she has to tell it to the courts. They kill her if she do that. And the chances are that if she doesn't, they'll rape her again. Hello. Hi, hon. Hi, I can't talk to you right now. Sweetheart, I can't have dinner with you tonight. I have to meet my editor, uh, Randy Yates. Uh, but I'll be, I'll be home before 11. Okay, I'll see you then. I love you. Me too.
heaven. God, you're such a slow. Oh, look at this. There's... Why do you think I have to pick it up? This is just great. Every single time. Every single time. I'm just going to do it to him next time. Hello. Well, your note didn't lie. You are beautiful. Your ad didn't lie. You're very attractive. And married. That doesn't bother you. Shall we go? Where to? Well, we can't have an uncomplicated sexual relationship in a uh, cathedral. Now, can we? was your wife, wasn't it? Yeah. She doesn't know you fool around? Look, maybe we should uh, do this some other night. No. I already told you in my note. You have one chance. This is it. If the damage has already been done, you can go home now or three hours from now. You have to face the same consequences. Come on. You're a big boy. Huh? Not your first date. Right.
I'm feeling a little uncomfortable. Maybe we should go down to the bar, have a drink. Use a drink right now. We could talk. I could use a drink. Good evening, Mrs. Martin. Good evening, Mr. Mueller. Hello, Carl. Carl is very unhappy tonight. The city put a fence around his favorite lamp post. Is that mine? It's not mine. seen my wife before. No, help with your wife. She's manipulating you again. Can't you see that? Look, I am really sorry, but I gotta go. I no, gotta no, go. Clifford, hey, please. Clifford, please. please. I'll, I'll hey, do anything you say. On. I know you need your children. Take I won't interfere, please. You can't leave me. You can't leave me. Come on, take it easy. Come on, take it easy. Clifford! Clifford! Yes? Mrs. Martin, this is the police. May we come up, please? What is it? Is it my husband? May we come up, please? Is it Evan? I'm sorry. I'm afraid your husband's dead. I want to see your badges. I want to see your badges. That man, your husband? It's hot. 
We're trying to track down that cabbie. With any luck, he won't have cleaned it out yet. Was there no typewritten? Mm -hmm. It would be a lot easier if you were sure you could identify her. Did she see you? I, I... I think so. Do you think your husband was cheating on you? No. Do you have? Absolutely no doubts whatsoever. None. I'd like to go home, please. I've, I've told you everything I know. So what's the worst? I spoke to Mr. Mueller in apartment 611. He says he remembers talking to Miss Martin about 10.30 last night. All right, Mrs. Martin. I'll have someone drive you home now. You suspected that I killed Evan? Hello? Hello, Heather. This is Mrs. Keegan. Are you all right? Uh, Mrs. Keegan, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm i sick. Oh, how terrible. Well, but you really should have called to let us know. I just got up. Oh, dear. Well, will you be out tomorrow as well? Because I'll have to find a replacement if you aren't able to make it. I, I don't know. Um, I'll call you this afternoon.
Well, Bernstein called. They found both cabbies. Now, there was no note in the first cab, but the second one did make a pickup at the cathedral. Well, there's no way you can ID the blind. You call this ID about prints? Yes, ID. Joel, what are you talking about? It's a hotel room. There's prints all over the place. You go sort them out. So what do you think? Same killer? Yeah, Mose was sure different. These four were stabbed once in the heart, and they were naked in bed. Look at Martin. He had his clothes on, he was stabbed 16 times in the back. Yeah, but it was a hotel room, was yellow rose, was a knife, and was not a robbery. And it wasn't neat either. Whoever killed these guys cleaned up the blood and wiped away the prints. Whoever killed Martin wasn't thinking about getting away with it. 16 stab wounds. Yeah, that's a lot of stab wounds. That's a lot of rage. speculation that Martin may have been killed while researching a feature article on loneliness for Now Magazine. However, Randy Yates, the city editor, did confirm that Martin was gathering material for the magazine when he was killed. Would you like me to pack your things? Susan, I can't go. I don't want you staying here by yourself. You'll stay with us at least until after the funeral. I have to go back to work. You have to get out of here. I should have put my foot down. I should have told him he couldn't do what he was doing. I should have threatened him. God, if if we'd had a fight or separated or even divorced because Sarah, of it. But Sarah, stop. Okay. Hello. It's a lie. Everything they said was a lie. He was cheating on you! Who is this? Who are you? What is it? It may just have been some crackpot. A case like this is a magnet for them. I know it was her. Would you recognize the voice if you heard it again? I think so. So we put a tap on her phone. Maybe we get lucky. Mm. Look, I want you to have a police officer watching this apartment building around the clock. I can't do that. 
The best I can do is have precinct patrol pay special attention to the building, no more than that. I wish you'd come and stay with us for a while. I spend 90% of my time trying to talk victims into testifying against their attackers. Most of them are too frightened. I don't want to be one of those. Would you have a copy of your husband's ad from the Village Daily? Gentleman prefers blondes. I'm a single white male. 33, tall, attractive, and warm-blooded. Looking for attractive, single, white female for days and nights of wine and roses. Is that all? Yeah. So who wrote the copy? I did. Yeah, you're a funny guy, Joel. Single white male. You felt like a sore thumb in there, jerk. I thought I was being creative. Yeah, well then why didn't you place the ad? Because I'm not tall, attractive, and warm-blooded. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yes. No, no, nothing's wrong. I, I just thought I'd call. No, I, I know. I'm, I'm sorry. It's. Well, y you could have called me too. No, it's, it's just as far for you to call me as it is for me to call you. But, Mom, let's not argue, okay? How are you? I do care. Why would I ask? Yes, I'm, I'm an assistant librarian. <laughs> I live in the same place. No, no one's steady. <laughs> I probably end up being an old maid, huh? <laughs> Listen, Mom, I, I was, um, I was wondering if I could come back and see you. I know it's been six years. Mom, are you there? Oh. I'm sorry, I forgot about the time difference. What are you watching? Uh, no. I didn't. Um. Listen, why don't I call you back another time, okay? Sure. Bye, Mom. questions. What is this? I don't know. I just got a brief look at her. She could be any one of them. Or none of them. All right, let them go. 
You understand our problem. My partner dated 11 blondes through the personal ads. Nine of them had alibis that checked out, and the other two were in that lineup. Does that mean you quit? It's been three weeks now. The case is getting cooler. You're quitting? You work for the city. You understand about man hours and priorities. If something doesn't happen soon to heat this case up again... What about the tap on my phone? It's off. They're very lovely, aren't they? Yes. I pass by here at lunchtime quite often and see you. You're a very striking woman. I uh, have an office a couple blocks down the street. I'm in the real estate business. My name's Vince. Are you uh, involved with anyone right now? Why? I thought perhaps we uh, might go out sometime. I don't go out with married men. It's a shame. Could show you a real good time with no complications. Does your wife know you cheat on her? We uh, have an understanding. And why didn't you tell me your last name? So long. What time? What? What time? A date? Where? Uh. Selby Hotel, lobby, eight thirty. Goodbye, Clifford. Uh, it's Vince. Are you crazy? Are you trying to get yourself killed? I'm trying to find the person who killed my husband. You told me you couldn't recognize her. I told her. you I didn't know if I could recognize her. But you're making this nut think you can. You're gonna scare her. Scared people are dangerous. What do you expect her to do? Call you up and arrange for tea? Do you think she'll come after me? If she's scared enough. Then you'll just have to protect me, won't you? I know all about priorities and man hours. I won't let you drop this case. I'll try and get you a surveillance team. Try? I'll get you a surveillance team. For how long? I'll request a week, but I'll settle for three days. Thank you. Hello? Nothing. I was in the hall when I heard the telephone. I just ran. Ah! It's okay. It's okay. I'm a police officer. You left your door open. It's all right, Susan. 
It's a police officer. I'll call you back. Sorry. These are the deceased's personal effects. Cash. 4718. One man's watch, one gold wedding band, one set of house keys on a chain, one leather credit card holder with credit cards, one driver's license. Just sign here, please. It's you, isn't it? The blonde I saw at the cathedral. You're a liar. You can't recognize me. Don't you bet your life on that. Oh, but I did. And I won. Sometime today, you looked right at me. <laughs> you can't recognize me. He was cheating on you. I did you a favor. Why don't you just forget about him and go on with your life? Joel, I've got to know something. Who is this? This is Sarah Martin. Do you know what time it is? Was my husband wearing his wedding ring? Yeah, he was. Why? On his ring finger. Yeah, why? Left hand. It's in the examiner's report. Thank you. Mrs. Martin. Hello. Can I help you? Yes, I would like to look at some back issues of the Village Daily. How far back? Three to four weeks. Through that door right over there. Thank you.
active married man, 31. Looking for uncomplicated sexual relationship with attractive female of like persuasion. Please write to Village Daily, Box B4292. Bingo. You see what I'm getting at? The police placed the wrong ad. He was no longer advertising as a single. It was the married man ad that attracted that woman. I know it. What did the police say? I haven't told them yet. Why not? Well, they took one stab at it and they quit. If I want to keep them, I want to make sure it's for keeps this time. I placed an ad in the Village Daily. What kind of an ad? It's similar to Evans. Married man looking for uncomplicated sex. Are you mad? This woman is a full-fledged psycho. She has called you twice. She knows where you live. She tells you she's been close enough to be recognized. Just calm down. She has no way of knowing who placed the ad. Oh, and how are you going to deal with the women who respond? Disguise yourself as a man and date them? I'm looking for a special response. And the same note she sent to Evan. There's got to be a flower with it. Because the note said, wear the flower, not a flower. And I found the box in the bedroom. There had to have been a flower. I ought to call the police right now and get you out of this. Then we wouldn't be friends, would we? When did the ad come out? It came out today. Sarah, they've been calling for you from Morningside. They got Mrs. Cassona over there. She killed her husband. Yeah, she did one hell of a job on him. Got him while he was asleep. He was a wife beater. Oh, not this time. There's not a fresh mark on her. You know what's weird? After she kills him, she cleans the place up. I mean, she scrubs it, puts everything away, gets the kids dressed, and then she calls the cops. Who brought you here? You know who brought you here? My mom. Your mommy brought you here? Yeah. Okay. What's your daughter? I'd like to talk to her now, please. Sure, okay. It's all right. My sister lives in Patterson. Please give her my children. I don't want them to live with strangers. Why did you do it, Teresa? I didn't want to be afraid no more.
Homicide. Gilbert here. This is Sarah Martin. I found her. What do you mean you found her? I arranged to meet her at 8.30 tonight. Sarah Martin's office. Maria, it's me. Hi. I spoke to the aunt. Well, at least I spoke to her husband. The aunt completely broke down when I told her what happened. They want the kids. Now, the earliest train we can get them on is the 9.50. I told them to expect them. Is, is that all right? That's fine. Could you go with them? No problem. I've already checked. I can get back on the 12.20. That's terrific. Listen, do you have a problem babysitting until then? We'll take them out to dinner. I'll treat. Thanks. I'll meet you at the station to make sure you get off okay. Bye-bye. Dr. Canderson. I'm not in right now, but if you leave your name, a number, and a brief message, I'll call you back as soon as possible. Thank you. I remember waking up in a white room. I still wanted to die. I blamed myself then. I just wanted him to come and tell me it was all right. That he still loved me, but he never came. So I played their stupid little games and I talked to their stupid little doctors. And I waited for him. See, I still loved him. Every minute of every day I loved him. I just couldn't understand why he didn't call me because I called him so many times. And his secretary said that I couldn't talk to him. So when I left the hospital, I went to see him. And the secretary had some guard throw me out. So I thought I'd leave him alone. And, and if I left him alone, then he'd miss me. I remembered everything. I, I, his birthday, our anniversary, Valentine's Day. I, I, sometimes I sent him yellow roses. But he didn't call. So I called him again. And uh, his secretary said that, that he had died, that he had a heart attack and he was dead. It was a lie. I didn't believe that. And I hated him. I was wrong. All this time, it was his wife. She forced him to stop seeing me. That's why he left me. All these years, it was her. Hello? Hello? This is Dr. Kenderson. Is there anyone there? Hello?
Heller, what's going on? Nothing. It's ten to nine, Joe. How long do we wait? We wait. I don't think she's going to show. She's only 20 minutes late. Maybe she got stuck in traffic. Maybe she got suspicious. How? Maybe she doesn't always follow up on every ad. We'll wait another half an hour. Don't feel so bad. At least you showed us she is using the personal ads. We'll get her. What if you're right? What if she did become suspicious for some reason? She may never answer another ad. Well, look at it this way. At least by answering your ad, she settled a fairly big question for you. Your husband wasn't cheating. Was I that obvious? I had a wife who cheated. Held up, are you okay? Yeah, they started to ask about their mother, and I bought them some ice cream. Estará divertiendo viajar por los trenes, y tus tíos vos encontrarán a la estación. Y tengo un dólar para ti y para ti. Okay, all aboard, mis amigos.
Could you stay with me for a while? I'm sorry, ma'am. We have to get back on patrol. Homicide has an officer on the way. He should be here any minute. Can you walk me in? Sure. I'm sorry to bother you with this, Mr. Lacey. Better 11 than 3 in the morning. <laughs> had that happen. Look, uh, I'll have another key cut for you. Oh, no, thanks. I'm changing the locks in the morning. Good night. Good idea. Good night. Yes? Mrs. Martin, Officer Andretti, could you let me in the building, please? Who sent you? Lieutenant Gilbert. Mrs. Martin, he sent me over to protect you. Let me in, please. Mrs. Martin, would you open the door, please? Don't touch the door! I'm a police officer. I think there's a problem in Mrs. Martin's apartment. Let me in the building. I just took her up there five minutes ago. Let me in. I want to know who you are, who you say you are. Just wait there. I'll be out in a minute. You ruined my life. He was the only man I ever knew. He was the only man I ever wanted. He never loved you. me and he won't be rid of you until you die Mrs. Martin, this is the police. 
police officer out here. Come to the door if you can. Can you hear me?